Hey guys, what's up? Why you shit for today is uh, about something that really, really, really pisses me off that I've seen pretty much everyone in the world. And it's something that's very, very difficult to fight against and very difficult to get out of. And I, I get it too, and I fight with it every day. But it's something that if you get into your head, it might help. If, you, if you're able to at least see yourself doing it, then you might be able to get out of it. And uh, what I'm talking about is getting into a state where you're comfortable and complacent in whatever field that it might be. Most importantly, it's when people have a job um, and have a certain routine when you get into it. And in that routine and in that, it's usually a, a job that you don't really love, but you're okay with. And you're just, you know, you're doing it and you have your money and you can sustain yourself and you're fine, but you're not getting any actual fulfillment with it. And you just do something and you get into such a routine that the things that you really want to do never get time. They never get to be done. They never get your proper attention because you're just always locked in this um, this really routine of doing, you know, waking up in the morning, going to your job, getting back home, and then you're super tired and I'm really tired and it's a work day, so I don't really have, I don't really want to do the things that I really want to do. I'll have, nah, I'm just not going to do them. And then you, you check Facebook and uh, play video games and watch some TV and go to sleep and not actually get to do the things that you really want to do, whatever that might be, uh, making games or drawing art or I don't know, something very specific that you enjoy and never get a chance to do. And even in the weekends, you, you always find excuses. Um, I have to visit my family and I have to do this and that and I have to do this and that. And when you get to that state of complacentness, um, if that's a word, and when you get complacent and when you get comfortable, you get stuck. You just get stuck and you don't leave that state and you never get things done that you want to. And I have... Um, I, I see it in a lot of people. Uh, I have friends that are stuck in that state where they just go to work and they just, yeah, they can try and, and change their lives, but it's so easy to just stay where you are. And that really, really pisses me off because you could achieve so much more and you could do things that you want to do. And specifically, I have a friend that works at something that's, um, works at, at some kind of company where, where they just does something that is akin to um, earns a decent money and and does pretty much office work in a specific way. It is it is technical work that he needs to know. Um, they need to know what they're doing and there is training for it. But it's basically office work and there's not a lot to go up. There's not a lot of promotion opportunity and pretty much you're gonna get where you are and and, and stay there. And what that person really wants to do is is draw art, um, is make art and, and, and work on video games and all kinds of things like that. And even when, I, I saw it, even when you have the opportunity, it's so powerful. You have an opportunity that people saw your work and they work at, at a company that you, you would be amazing for you, okay? You'd want to work there so much because they make video games and they make art and, and stuff like that. And that's the position that they're talking with you about. And you, okay, just send us your portfolio, your stuff, and then we'll put, set you up with an interview and you could, and you could do that. And, um, it's been like a, a month or two since, since that opportunity came up and nothing has been done with it. And that's just, I, I keep, I keep going, I was like, why, why won't you do anything? It's like, I don't know, I'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it. And that's, that's terrible to me. That's so, uh, I, I want to murder that person. You get so, so comfortable. And so even though it's, it's, it's not what you really want to do, it's crap. But that, that conditioning to just stay where you are and be comfortable in your own little cocoon of, of, of your own little bubble and never get out of it and never get out of your comfort zone a little bit and do the things that you really want to do. And that's terrible. And I don't do that. <laughs> That's it's so so terrible. And when I watch people in that state, I just want to punch them in the face and slap them and just get out of it. Be better. Do what you want to do. Stop being stop being stuck in crap. And this is something that goes into any part of your life. 
and it's for me a struggle every day as well because I can I could just be a drone and not do anything but whenever I, I start working on, on a project or something it's so hard starting to do something is so hard sending that resume sending that portfolio starting to work on a project picking up the phone and calling the person that you want to work with or doing starting to do something is so hard it's usually very easy to set the ground for something so like um, as an example that I've see, had in the past, I want to start working with a specific program. Let's say Unity, which is a game engine. I want to start working with Unity, okay? So I install Unity. It's like, yeah, I installed Unity. I did a lot today. And then I never touch it. It's installed and I never touch it. I, I, I prepared the ground to work and now I could just start working. And you never actually start working because preparing the ground is so much easier. And that's... It's it's something that you have to just mm, do it, just do it, and uh, you'll be happier in every every possible way. Once you do it, you'll just feel great. You'll feel incredible. I feel incredible because I started working and I, I have stuff, and I should actually put out more Unity videos because I started a little bit and then I I didn't do anything for a while. I should put up more Unity videos to show my progress with stuff, and I will do so. That's another thing that I want to do, and I I, I will do it. Right? I will freaking do it. So never get complacent. Never get comfortable um, up to that point. Routine? You know what? And some people, yeah, I just want to get to that routine. Some people think routine is a good thing. Routine is never a good thing. Because human beings, and this, is, this comes from game design, I guess. But human beings don't like the same thing over and over. They don't like routine. It's wired in our brains to enjoy random stuff happening to enjoy different stuff happening, to enjoy surprises that happen to us. Even people who hate surprises, and I hate surprises, I don't like going to get a surprise party, I hate that, I hate that. Don't ever throw me a surprise party, okay? Let me know that there was a party going, okay? Hopefully, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm too smart for you, hopefully, so you'll never be able to give me a surprise party. But even, even in that sense, it, a surprise doesn't actually have to be a surprise party. It could be things changing and not in the way we expect, or not that we expected any change at all, but there's a change. We're hardwired to enjoy that. Routine is bad for us in every possible way. So do the things that you want to do and fucking don't get complacent and comfortable because that's terrible. That's the worst thing that can happen to a person. That just puts you down and you just streamline life and do nothing. And you never want to get there. So that's it. That's it for me. Yeah, some, some meta yeah, <laughs> stuff. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes. <laughs>